Hey y'all, what's up? Can we stop some violence and spread a little love? On today's hump day, and it is hump day. Hello, and welcome back to the Chanel channel. The Chanel channel. Let me stop before I break some. <clears throat> On the Chanel channel. <laughs> okay, honeys, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And um, this pink thing that you keep seeing, that I guess when I lift my arm up, is my bra, okay? It's, a, it's a, um, what's that thing called? It's a Chanel. I mean, not Chanel. <laughs> it's the freaking, um, oh my god, why can't they get Ray Ray? Ray Ray's, um, Savage X Fenty and OMG, y'all, is so cute. <laughs> like, OMG, I just started purchasing from them this year, and oh my god, I'm in love. Like, it made me feel like, what? Like, yes, honey, yes. Riri did her thing. I love Riri. I've always loved her, but like, when I bought some, though, I was like, oh, okay. Now, I'm not going to do a review. I thought about it and I wanted to so bad because I don't see that many videos. <coughs> Some hair. Okay. I don't definitely see any reviews or nothing like that with the Fenty. Like, with people actually trying them on, they normally show it. But since it's a family friendly place, um, I decided not to. Um, if you want me to, because OMG, yo. <laughs> OMG poster child boom if you wanted to i can definitely do another review or haul on the things that i have um i wasn't really buying lingerie or anything like that so like it was just you know i broke up with with a, mm, the bald head scallywag and um i was just like you know what i need to get my sexy bag <laughs> And that's what I did with that Fenty though. And I started buying stuff from Fashion Nova. Oh my God. Like I am in love, y'all. I'm in love. Now the Fashion Nova stuff, because it's not more so lingerie, I'm definitely going to do some hauls in the stuff. I'm still waiting on a huge shipment and some more pants. So that I'll probably just do it all at one time. Like, hey, here's a Fashion Nova review slash haul. Here's a True Religion review slash haul. Because I've been... <sighs> I told y'all in the previous videos, your girl got a shopping problem. <laughs> this girl, girl. So, um, I bought a lot of stuff from like, uh, True Religion, Calvin Klein, Coach, my now new favorite brands. Most of them, like, I always kind of shopped with, like, Coach. Coach, I swear, y'all. It hands down the fastest shipment ever. You place that order and you place the before one o'clock. You gonna get in like within two business days, two. Y'all like that. I was like, dang, every time, never fails. And it's so cute packaging. Even some of the boxes got coaching them. Like, who's really carrying around a coach box? Me, because I like coach. And you know, I didn't always buy coach. I didn't always buy the finer things in life. I wanted them, but I didn't always purchase them. And oh my God, speaking of which, since I was like looking over here. <laughs> Y'all, oh my God, this is so cute. Y'all, I'm so excited. This is not the one that I normally wear. I don't even know where my thing is, to be honest. Um, I think it's in my other purse. Oh, oh, y'all, I'm definitely going to do another coach review because I just bought some, like, um, they are, I don't know if that was the spring or just, like, when they were doing, like, the champion slash coach stuff or whatever. I just, like I said, I'm a shopaholic, so I like to get an email alerts, and every time I get an email alert, <laughs> I go on there. And I saw this one. This was like the last one in the batch. And I was like, oh, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I was going to give this to um, as a gift. But thankfully, she didn't like this one. She liked the other one that I bought myself. But I'm kind of excited because once I seen that this was the last one when I was buying it, I was like, oh, definitely gotta get it. Oh my God. And ain't it so me? 
and I got one a matching one that has like the lipsticks on it and then a matching purse to go with it. Your girl Chanel is cute, cute. Look at that. You want this outfit though? <laughs> Dress this, <laughs> this swaggy outfit up though. <laughs> okay, so yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to show y'all that because I was really excited when I purchased it. <laughs> okay, back to this video though. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Okay, um, how was everybody's day? My day was great. Oh, I was talking about the hauls, y'all. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I will do like more hauls and stuff. Um,. I'm getting in the process of starting to do makeup reviews as well. I mean, not makeup reviews, makeup tutorials. And actually, probably I probably will end up doing makeup reviews because I always wanted to with like doing different um, brands and trying them out and trying a different look for them to see because I was really fed up in the hype with Urban Decay, I think that's their brand don't quote me on it yet because i'll bring it back but like everyone was like oh my god like their products are so amazing da, 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 da. which it is um i only purchased the um concealer because i really needed concealer at the time and i was like boom i've heard good things about them it dries super quick y'all so if you are not if you are a beginner don't use the urban now now don't use the urban now I didn't realize that it drew like it dried really fast until I used it the first time and I was like okay I knew what I was doing and I was kind of already in a rush so it helped a lot but then I tried it again the f now the finish it's flawless I love it as far as that goes but if you don't know what you're doing don't don't get that like elf is really good for beginners um elf Fenty I swear it's like the best thing ever like especially if you're colored or to even have some t some tanness to you like I love Fenty makeup like I will forever in the day be a Fenty buyer um and that's kind of what prompted me into my, like looking more into the lingerie because I was like I love her makeup I love her songs I love her music I just love her in general boo Mwah, I love you free free yes free yes Yes, girl, you did that. You did I'm coming. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, with that being said, I just bought some, and I was scared because I've lost a lot of weight from how I, what I, my size of what I was, in around like 2019. Your girl was thick, 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 But yeah, I was like extra, extra. And I was trying to, at that time in my life, I was dealing with this bald head scallywag that was locked up. So he was kind of stressing me out, just the fact of him not being home and just like him being in there, just stressing me out. And also with me just like kind of, kind of being insecure because then I had to buy a lot of all of my, I had to buy all new clothes because now the clothes that I had don't fit anymore. So I bought new clothes and I was like feeling myself. I was like, okay, maybe, you know, everyone was giving me compliments, but I was just so self-conscious about myself because I was like, I've never been this weight. It's just hard for me. And I mean, it looked really good on me and I'll probably like be like, put the picture up there. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I end up doing that and then at that time then I was like you know what my life is life is too short I have so much things on my buck list I want to start knocking them off especially while I don't have any children that I birthed my of my own out of coming out of here like psh. so I decided I was going to lo start losing weight so I can kind of get back to the size that I was like back in 2014 because that's when I really really loved the, my size like I was skinny moods Skin a little petite thing, skin a little petite thing. Um, and so I wanted to get back to that because I was trying to try out for the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, and then I missed the freaking virtual tryout because this bullhead scallywag didn't like the fact that I'm attractive and he didn't want me to 
get snatched up by one of them. <laughs> them cowboys, you know what I'm saying? Or even just one of the teammates. <laughs> and I mean, he was just that, I guess, that insecure, but me being the type of person I am, especially being submissive in a relationship, I was like, you know what, baby? If you don't feel comfortable, I'll wait till you at least come home. <laughs> Because I guess, so even if you don't live in Dallas, you still have like three to five rehearsals or, um, yeah, rehearsals in between the week, in that week before tryouts or before like a rehearsal, before a stage or event or whatever the case is. And then you still have the boot camp and a lot. So it's better for you to live in Dallas. Um, just so that way you're closer and at the time I didn't live there so I was just like you know I don't this is gonna be a lot commuting and then he had children and they were supposed to be coming and it was just it was a lot going on at that time so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna hold off and then corona happened so then I was like dang okay it might be a good thing that we're doing virtual tryouts excuse me but then at the same time though I was just like mm, I don't know and then ooh, some views that I feel about NBA teams and most of the media or people in general, um, how they look at certain things or view things or how they feel about certain people doing those things. And you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to people of skin of color. <clears throat> I have to do is this right here. Y'all should know what I'm talking about. And ever since then, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not. Because when that's disrespected, because you have an opinion, or you have a feel, and you have your opinion, and you your beliefs in what you believe in, and someone disrespects that, or belittles that, or undermines that, I don't want to be have any type of associations with that. So now I'm no longer going to do that. I'm just gonna open my own dance studio, y'all. So get home. <laughs> yes, no, yes. Cause your girl can dance despite my silliness. Like, and I might even just bring in a little dance videos here and there. <laughs> But um, <clears throat> I also like I had in, I got into a really bad car accident a couple of years ago, and prior to that, like when I got married, because it wasn't the person I felt like I was supposed to marry, um, and we had our issues. But like I said, he wasn't ready for that type of commitment. Now don't get me wrong, I loved our our marriage when we did try, just because. We tried, you know, we were both really, really young <laughs> when we got married <clears throat> and it was hard because there was a lot of people that just like, yeah, you're too young to be married, you know, you don't know anything and his folks just didn't want us to be like shacked up living together and I think if we would have took that time to live with each other, get to know each other on that type of level, our marriage would have went longer than it did. There's no hard feelings like... I'll probably forever in the day love him. There's just some things about him that I didn't really like or love too much, especially the way he chews for real. <clears throat> We're not even gonna go there. He's a non he's a wonderful person. Um we when we did argue or like had we, we didn't even I wouldn't say we argue because we didn't really argue. We had discussions about why we disagreed with each other. And that was the main thing. I think that key point there, you it's, it's okay for you to have your own opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. But the fact that you can't, especially in a relationship, you can't really put someone down or undermine their their opinion just because you don't agree with them. And that, that people misconstrued or like misinterpret that statement. Like, it's okay to disagree or not agree. Just talk about it. Communication is really key, y'all. Like, and that was one thing. He did try. Like, it just, it just wasn't enough for me. 
because I, I need you to try all the time or be consistent with you your attempts. Don't just try just because you know I'm upset or you know something. Like, he just, we ain't gonna talk about that no more. And with that being said, y'all like my outfit? <laughs> and no, my dude is not allowed to wear no type of gray sweatpants outside them doors. Gray or white, no. Because you know why? We look at prints, y'all. <clears throat> Let's be real, we do. And when you don't got that print right, or if you do got that print right, we're like, hey. That's why y'all not allowed to wear them, them, them sweatpants. I'm sorry, ladies. I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, spill the tea like that. But yeah, that's that's why. That's why. Because no. Mm -mm. We ain't about to have nobody, no other woman looking at our man's print. Period. Period. <coughs> Which one? <was? clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I just got off work not too long ago. So I'm expecting a call. Because I missed it while I was at work. Hopefully I can get this call. And... Yeah. Other than that, I just wanted to say hey and show y'all my outfit, y'all. Because it's cute. And I didn't put on any jewelry or nothing because, like, I didn't even want to disrespect Tupac right there. I didn't. And I wasn't. Because Tupac is a legend period and if you don't like tupac we ain't even friends no more you we we can't even be cool no more why because why don't you he was a lyrical genius okay lyrical genius i don't feel i don't fun fact about me i like a lot of dudes in categories i don't like have favorites of anything i have i don't have a one favorite of anything i have favorites and i do break things in different genres or different categories if you want to be technical Depending on who I'm talking to, genre is like, ugh, I said that in the wrong term. But I know what I'm talking about. So, um, I feel like Tupac, even um, like J. Cole, Lil Baby, he was he was at first, he was in he was in that rapper category, but then when he put himself when he did bigger picture that put him in the lyrical category i'm not even a huge fan of kendrick lamar but i feel like he's definitely a lyricist um jordan lucas he's definitely a lyricist to me um who else oh definitely my boy chance the rapper you know he got rapper in there uh have y'all heard Coco water kisses and I mean just the music that he makes even hot shower like nobody else can do that okay let's just give him his props nobody else can make hot shower like that now yes Duval man you know going back and forth with you but he's a clown though like he's I'm not saying that like, he's a clown clown like disrespectful like I'm saying he's like he's funny he's like the class clown so you're, you you expect him to make a song like that. Now, Chance Robert gives those type of vibes, but he also sits there and, make, you know, wants to have a word and use his platform to educate and bring people together, whether that be in his music or in shows and features, whatever. Like, I love just seeing people's potential. And even, like... Fun well, fact, if you guys didn't know, DMX, <laughs> DMX, y'all, was, you know, he was a rapper. He was a rapper back in the day, and then he changed his life, found, got right with the Lord of theirs, and now he's a pastor. Same thing with, like, Lil, Lil Willie, but Lil Willie, he was the, um, dang, what is it? <laughs> dang, that's not just a, that is pretty, oh, my God, I didn't mean it. Not pretty, Ricky. Pretty Willie. Oh, she got the best conversation. She looked good from head to toe. I just want to really much. She's my baby. She's easy peachy. And she falls so good. She's fine. Oh, God. How is she? But she go to church on Sunday. And she finally getting saved. Hallelujah. So she was from Mitch. She was back in her younger days. 
y'all if you ain't hear that song though y'all definitely need to go listen to it my good thing by pretty willie and um now he's a pastor so like i don't think music has anything to do with your spirituality um as far as the type of content that you make like you can make things for your audience but not necessarily feel like that's the everyday life that you live in now like i said tupac was it first he was it didn't it you know like um ice cube ice cube he's a lyricist to me to me that does not mean that you have to agree with me that's just my opinion Eminem to me is a lyricist. He's not a rapper to me. That is just my opinion. Now, do you want me to name some rappers for you? I'll be more than happy to. Give me a second.